Did you know? That the locking mechanism of the door is very simple, but, though simple, it's also very safe, so what's the mechanism? Hello everybody, welcome back on my channel. In this animation, we'll learn how engineers design a simple door lock mechanism, but it's very safe. First of all, maybe we'll answer the question, why the keys are made like this. And the configuration of each key is different for each key. How could this lock make the key a differentiator between one and the other? If you see the shape of keys, they're wrapped up, it's adapted to what's inside of this tube. So, inside of this lock tube, there are several pins that have different lengths. These pins, divided into two groups. The upper pins are on the rotatable side of the tube, while the lower pins on the frame of the tube. At the bottom of this pin, there are several springs so this pin can move up and down continuously. When we insert the key to the tube, it will change the position of the pin. Well, the pin will be pressed down, according to the path on the key. When the key that we inserted is matched, the clamp between the two groups of pins is on the surface of the rotating tube. So, the tube can be rotated. But if the key that we inserted does not match, then there will be a pin entering the tube. It will hold the tube to rotate. So, this is why the key if it does not fit, it cannot be rotated. Though the keys come from the same manufacturer. The pin length configuration on each mechanism, it's different, so the key path is different. This tube, connected to a cam. This cam is used to push the lock mechanism on the door. This mechanism is actually very simple. If you're just looking at how this works, you can understand it. So, this mechanism has two plates. The bottom plate, and the top plate. The bottom plate has a spring on its top side. This makes the bottom plate, able to move vertically backwards. And on the front side, this plate has a kind of lock. The function is to hold top plates on it. So, the top plate is connected to the lock knob. This is the part that stands out when the key is rotated. The top plate, moving horizontally or sideways. To prevent the top plate self-move, then it's locked by the bottom plate in this section. At the bottom, there's a strap. This strap serves to push the top plate to move forward. When the lock tube is rotated, the cam will press these two plates at once. First the cam will touch the bottom plate. It makes the plate lift up. So, the lock here is automatically lifted. Then the cam pushes the edge on the top plate. So that the upper plate is able to move forward. Well after that, the cam continues to rotate, and the lower plate returns to the lower position. So, when this knob is out, it can't be inserted manually. Or can't be pushed in because it's locked in here. Then proceed to the second round, the cam will touch two plates exactly the same as the first one. This makes the top plate pushed further. To return this knob, we turn the key again in the opposite direction. The same mechanism, cam will push up the bottom plate, then cam will also push the top plate to move backwards.
At the top area, there's a door handle mechanism. This mechanism consists of a long iron attached to a spring. So, with this spring, this iron can move out and in. To move this iron rod through the door handle, first there is a component like a rotor. And then on both sides of the rotor there's a cam. This is the cam that's going to lift this long iron. So when the rotors are rotating, it's pulling this iron to move in. Then, the door handle is installed on the right and left sides, the door handles are installed with an iron box. So that the rotor, can be rotated by turning the handle of the door. Then the last one, there is a boundary plate. This plate is mounted between rotors and pins on the locking plate. The goal, to limit the rotor's movement, so that when we turn the door handle, it's not excessive. This mechanism is commonly used on almost every door, because apart from being simple, it's also powerful and safe to hold the door.